So in this video, I wanted to show everyone how to refill a fountain pen cartridge with a syringe. It may not seem like an immediately obvious thing to do, but it's actually really easy and really useful. Uh, here is an empty fountain pen cartridge. This is just a standard international short cartridge that would fit in a whole bunch of different pens from Rotary and uh, Pelican or Pelican or whatever, uh, all sorts of different companies. When I first got it, it looked like this. I used most of the ink and then I washed it out very thoroughly with water, warm water, and then you put a Q-tip or just the end of a tissue or something in there and then you let it dry. It can get quite clean and you can reuse them many times. This is just a piece of plastic, it's very durable. I'm gonna refill it with ink from uh, any sort of ink I want. I happen to have this uh, Pelican, or again, Pelican 4001 ink. It's supposed to be good. I'll give it a shot. This whole thing was uh, like $6 or something like that, maybe $7. Whereas five or six or 10 of these will be much less ink for the same price. I bought these syringes off Amazon. I bought this pack of them. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six with six ends. And that whole set cost, I think, four to five dollars with shipping. So very affordable. And it's basically a two piece mechanism. This just fits on here. And now you have a syringe with a long end and you pull it just like you would. And the key is that this end here is blunt. This is not sharp. It's not for uh, administering any sort of like drugs or any sort of fluids. It's just for uh, standard uses like fountain pens and other areas where you need to put a very small amount of liquid into a uh, hard to reach place. And the point is here that this aperture, this opening is, is very, very small. So you need something tiny. And it's, you can't pour ink in there unless you want to create a tremendous mess. And this tip here is a little bit too long, but uh, we'll make it work. I have a pen here. This is a Rotring, uh, but basically this would work with any cartridge pen. And we'll see there's no cartridge in here. The pen was recently cleaned, so it should be ready to go. Process is very simple. The main time consuming thing is cleaning the cartridge. After that, assemble the syringe. This is new, you could reuse them. Again, just clean them out. It might stain a little bit from the ink, but if it's clean, then it won't be a problem. Get this ink bottle going, it's a new bottle here. So hopefully it's not too hard to open. Yeah, should be good to go, good. You wanna do this on a surface that you don't mind getting ink on. This is just a piece of uh, cardboard, oak tag, something. I don't know, it came in the back of a notebook. You always wanna have some sort of paper towels handy anytime you're working with fountain pen ink. They always come, always are useful. And one of the things you wanna keep in mind is that these cartridges are surprisingly small. Something like, I think 0.8, milliliters this syringe holds 10 milliliters so don't fill up the whole syringe right you only really need a fraction of it and here we're not trying to optimize for efficiency so we're just get a good fill this is very simple you dip this in here it'll happen off camera you dip it submerge it pull it and again you're gonna get a lot of ink very quickly you can see I barely pulled it and I have uh, something like two, maybe three milliliters in here. It's gonna drip, you wanna be careful of the drip. We'll put it here on our paper, but you could wipe it, wipe it off with your paper towel. And then just put this in here, put it into the bottom, squeeze very gently. Wow, that was like the minimum amount I could squeeze in there and you could see how much this is still full. So I put in under a milliliter and this thing is perfectly filled. I was honestly aiming to get it maybe halfway filled. Extra ink 
you can just squirt back in here. No problem. As long as your syringe is clean, is no problem putting the ink back in here. Some people might recommend that you don't do that, but it is probably fine most of the time. Always return the cap to your ink as soon as you humanly can. That'll save you a lot of heartache down the road. Put the syringe aside, I'm gonna clean that off. And now we wanna be careful of this because most of these things shipped, ship with a little seal here that you would pop out of the way when you're inserting it into the pen. This one is not sealed. And it really won't pour out just because there's a lot of cohesion within this thing, but you still wanna be careful with it. When you put it in here, again, don't tip it in. Do it upside down and give it a nice push. You're not gonna feel the same pop you will when you push it on because again, that little piece right there, that little ball piece is not gonna pop out. So it's not gonna be the same sort of feel, but you should still get a really good uh, seal there. It's in there and I'm working at that feeling and that really should cover it you screw this on here and now just like with any fountain pen you're gonna let it sit inverted for a few minutes the feed will saturate and then it'll start to write. Uh, sometimes you want to shake it a little bit. Sometimes you want to give it a little push. Uh, sometimes you just want to wait it out with the nib down. But that's really all there is to it. The, the main point is getting the right syringe and not making a huge mess when you fill it. I won't wait for this because it could take a few minutes, especially with a pen that's been uh, dry for a while. It hasn't had any water in there to sort of grease the skids. Yeah, we'll give it one a few minutes. But yeah, that is how you fill it. The hardest part is usually finding the syringes and I'll link you to them in the notes below. Thanks for watching.